and welcome to a new video. So this video is my August planner week. So welcome, grab your pens and plan your August theme. Probably by now you must have done it because this video is going up in August. But if you're late or anything, you can plan your August theme with me or just watch this video to get some inspiration for future things. So my theme for August is water lilies. Actually, it was my boyfriend that gave me that idea because we were walking at the park and we saw a bunch of water lilies in a lake and he said it was a great theme idea for me to do on my bullet journal and I thought about it a little bit more and yeah, I decided to do it. And on Instagram, I asked you to choose one color between red, pink, purple and blue and you chose purple so the flowers itself are going to be purple because I searched a bunch of pictures of water lilies on the internet and they can be a bunch of different colors but I think the pink is the most common one I saw yellow as well, but I didn't want to use yellow and I was sure I wanted to use green so the colors of this month are green and purple it's like purple and lilac like this kind of colors and I'm really happy how this thing turned out and I really love the colors and the water lilies itself are really easy to draw like the green part is just a big pac-man <laughs> it's the only way I can describe it like pac-man the game and the flowers are really easy I decided to use a darker shade for the first five petals and then I drew some more petals with a lighter shade of purple so it's really easy and as you can see in this video you can really recreate it I really loved it and I decided to draw it in this really flowy thing instead of draw a bunch scattered around the cover page it's like it's following this flowy line And for the lettering for this month, I decided with bubble letters. So really easy, really simple to do and anyone can do it actually. You can watch me draw the water release a little bit more and I'll talk to you when we are doing the calendar spread. Oh, I just wanted to say that I added some dots because I thought it would look cool and it would look like more fairy-esque or something. I don't know, I thought it would pull things together and I decided to do this wavy border as well. So for my calendar spread, it's just on the left side. And I decided to draw a mini calendar and then a big list for me to write the big events of the month. So the calendar is just for me to see the weeks better. And then I have the space for me to actually write what I have to do in these days. I also have a box for my goals for the month. And I decided to draw the wavy thing again 
in my water very red well. And as you can see on the calendar, I drew one more line that was not supposed to be there, but you'll see I'll use a sticker to cover it up and it looked perfectly. So for this next spread, we will have my books of the month, my big to-do list for the month, and I decided to do one thing a little bit different. What I usually do is to write my best memories of the month, but this time I decided to have a space to write my favorites of the month. It can be memories, it can be songs, it can be TV shows, and yeah, I think I can be a lot more creative and I really wanted a space for favorites but I didn't want to have a space for favorites and a space for best memories because the best memories are going to be in the favorites, right? And I decided to use this cat sticker from Mia and Fukimaki store so thank you so much for this sticker it's really cute and has a green heart so I decided to use it for my favorite and on the side of the spread I have my fitness tracker and it's the same layout that I do every month so I don't have to explain why. Oh, and as you can see, I didn't write anything in black or blue. The text and things that I had to write, I used this green color instead of blue or black. I usually use black instead of black and I really liked it. And in the drawings itself, I didn't line anything with black. So it's just colors and this month I'm just using colors. and. For the tables as well and everything, I didn't use the black and I really loved it how it turned out. Oh, and this part of the video is a little bit unfocused. It was focusing on my arm and not on the bullet journal itself, so it's a little bit annoying. And every sticker I'm using in this setup is from the same shop that I mentioned earlier. I'll leave a link down below. So these are the two final spreads. My sleep and mood tracker are in the same spread and my expenses tracker are in the other. And as you can see I didn't do a habit tracker this month and it was because I forgot. But I did one later and I did a playlist spread as well and I filmed it so it's gonna be another video that you will watch really soon. So I combined the sleep tracker and the mood tracker and I'll put a dot on the day and the mood that I'm feeling and I'll draw a bar that you can see the hours of sleep. So the sleeping tracker is the same layout that I usually do. And the mood tracker is also the same layout, but they'll be combined in the same table. I put an example picture here for you to see that I saw on Instagram. It was not with sleep and mood tracker, it was with a weather chart, but you'll see. And this is my expenses tracker, the same layout as I usually do. And pretty much this is the complete setup. the final flip through and I hope you like this video follow me on Instagram to see the pictures of the spreads and subscribe to this channel for more bullet journal content I also have a TikTok you can follow me there as well I have exclusive content there 
and if you like this video give it a like and i'll see you in the next one so bye have a nice day